Hey friends and welcome to my Christmas home tour for 2020. I am so excited to be filming this video for you guys. I hope it can give you a little bit of inspiration if you're finishing up your Christmas decor at home or hopefully it's just relaxing for you to watch and see how I decorated my home this year. So I haven't done all the normal Christmas videos that I planned on doing. Life just kind of happened and I've been working full time and I've just been really tired honestly and I've just been wanting to enjoy the decorating process instead of putting pressure on myself to film every little bit of it so I apologize that I haven't had my normal Christmas videos up this year I did so much for fall so I wanted to do all that for Christmas and it just didn't happen but I, again I apologize but I hope you still love my Christmas home tour and it, you can still get something out of it so if you're new I hope you subscribe and you give me a thumbs up on this video and follow me on Instagram if you want to see more things behind the scenes or just follow me around I post a lot on Instagram so that would be great and I'll leave all that in the description bar down below. So like all my home tours, I like to film them in two parts. I like to do the first little section of this video, me walking around my home and just telling you where things are from, where my inspiration came from, so and so. And then I film a second part and just set it to music so it's more relaxing. You can just skip to that if you want to and watch me walk through my home set to Christmas music. So either one, I will put the timestamp on the screen for you for when it starts to music. So if you want to go ahead and skip ahead to that, totally fine. Guys, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and start my Christmas home tour. So right when you walk in my house, we have this white pew bench that I love so much. It's from Kirkland's. And I never really decorate this area too much because it is a very functional space in our house. When we walk in the door, we usually put stuff here or people will even sit here. So I don't want it to be cluttered. So I just kind of use whatever I didn't use anywhere else in the house on this bench. So I just have a little Christmas tree, a painting, and then our Merry Mail sign that was from the Target dollar spot that a couple years ago that we keep our Christmas cards on. So it's a super functional space. I just have baskets underneath so we can put our shoes and then we always have this mirror so you can make sure you look okay before leaving and then the lamp. And then right when you turn around from that pew bench, I just have this little hook and I wanted to just keep it really minimal. So I just hung this really cute Merry Christmas beaded sign from Hobby Lobby and this little Christmas tree that's painted we got as a wedding present four years ago. I didn't add much in my entryway. I just added this little pottery plate that has a manger scene. I love the colors of this and it's so stunning. And then just added it on a little wreath and then a Christmas tree just obviously to add a little Christmas spirit. But I that's all I added in here. I didn't want to change it up too much. Here is an overview of my living room. So obviously the tree is the star of the show. We always get a nine foot or nine and a half foot tree because we have super tall ceilings. So right here is where my hutch is and this is how I decorated my hutch for Christmas. I kept it pretty simple, nothing extravagant, but I think it turned out pretty cute. So over here, I just have some little plates that I love and I stacked this little tin and filled it with some pine cones and some dried oranges and then added my beads just to tie that in. The little tin is from Hobby Lobby and the beads are from Hobby Lobby as well. And then over here is my Merry Christmas little sign. It doesn't flip over, but it looks really cute. And it's from Hobby Lobby. And then I put it next to my kitchen scale and a white pitcher from Hobby Lobby with some greenery in it. Then I just have my books, my faux stack of books, some of those orange slices, some trees, and a pine cone. And then my dough bowl I just filled with some of these really pretty balls. Um, I love the way these have these sequins and then filled it in with some pine cones. And then I have my little, this is actually my mom. She gave me a bunch of her old white dishes. So I just thought this was really cute to display on my hut and with some little Christmas trees in my cloche. And then the third shelf has some of those dried oranges again with the hobnail bowls. I love hobnail bowls. And then pine cones. This is always a setup because this has our wedding pictures on it. It's actually a USB drive. And then this as well has our wedding video on it and it's a USB drive. So I like to display that. And then I just have glory to the newborn king on my letter board. I love this wooden letter board. I think it adds a nice touch of warmth to the hutch. And then I layered it with my really big cutting board. That's not really a cutting board. It's just for decoration. This is kind of random, but again, this is for my mom. That's that. Um, white dishes that she gave me with a bottle brush tree, some beads, and then a tree from the Target dollar spot. 
And then on top of my hutch, I just added some greenery. I wanted it to hang down. I left the candlestick situation the same as it was before and then added this sign that says Farm Fresh Christmas Trees from Kirkland's. And then I added some clippings of our real Christmas tree, stacked it with a tobacco basket and some eucalyptus just to fill in that space. Here we have a sleepy, whiny puppy who's upset that I'm busy and not petting him. When we walk in this way, I just cover these green chairs with some blankets to kind of tone down the colors. I honestly don't have any Christmas pillows really, so I'm just using my normal ones. And then I have my green glass jug with some really pretty berry stems. These are my favorite florals for this year. I love the pop of red. It gives this area. And then it ties in really well with this Mary pillow that I got from Target. It's the Joanna Gaines one. It's a really small pillow, but it looks really cute in this seat. And then right above it, same little setup I always have. I just switched out the wreath for a Christmas one. Now for the favorite part of my house, which is the mantle in this area. I love it so much. I used my regular lamb's ear garland and then just added a bunch of Christmas picks in it to make it a little more festive. And then our stockings are from Amazon. They've honestly kind of gotten a little yellowed because we used this fireplace that's behind here and they've kind of gotten that yellowy look from the fireplace, so ignore that. But I handmade each stocking tag last year and I love these so much. You can find this something similar on Etsy, but if you have a Cricut or you can use a paint marker, you can make these really easy. The candlesticks and candles are from Hobby Lobby. And of course, all the picks are as well. And like I said, the stockings are Amazon and I DIY'd the tags. So down here, we have a basket that I just put a little chunky knit blanket in. I added some these little faux birch logs. They're literally made out of paper, but oh well. And then one of these little cute presents. I thought these are so cute and I wanted more, but I could not find any more at my Hobby Lobby. So I just have one. And then I wanted to do my little Christmas scene in here, but I need some more fairy lights. It's on my to-do list, but it's honestly probably not going to get done. And then I always love having my DIY fireplace cover insert. It makes such a statement in the living room and really just hides the gas logs that we don't use Especially like during the summer. I like to have that out And then I added some real wood here just to add that touch of warmth and wood and then I just added some of these little picks and Greenery, I don't know what you really call them. They're basically just twigs into this big jug that was from Target Add one pick of these berries in here just to add a little red, but this is pretty much, um, it was a set that I bought at Hobby Lobby. It's basically just frosted twigs. <laughs> Again, I kept the coffee table super simple. I have another one of these really pretty pottery pieces that has a manger scene, my cozy white cottage book, one of my favorite trees from Hobby Lobby, and then a fall candle that I'm still burning through because we do use all this space and we keep our remotes and everything on it, so it still has to be functional. And then our Christmas tree. So our tree, we get it every year from the same place by our house and we love it. It always is so beautiful. This year we got a nine foot Fraser fir, which is what we normally get and I love it. It's so stunning. Took like 10 strands of lights to get it lit up, but it is so pretty at night. I will show you guys a shot of everything once the lights are off, but I went with a white sparkly ornaments with some really pretty picks and then some red accents to tie it in together and add a little bit more of Christmas colors. When you walk in our kitchen, I have this sign hanging right here that I made last year. I just got a roll of craft paper and then printed the little decal out with my Cricut and I put some beads on it and it looks really nice here. And then to the right is my dog's treat calendar. It's like a countdown to Christmas and we love doing this. It's so cute and it's a really sweet tradition. And then if you guys haven't seen my tiered tray video, I will link it down below for you. That was like one of the only other Christmas videos I've done this year, but I talk all about that tray on that video. And then I have my hearth and hand cake stand with a little wreath from Hobby Lobby. And then I put my fresh balsam candle burning in the middle of it. 
Over here on the stove top, I just have my tray that I actually used in my fall video. I have a farmhouse cider candle burning on it just because it's a red candle and it looked cute. And I just put two little bottle brush trees on this. So again, super simple because I have to move this every time I cook. So I don't want a bunch of things that are gonna be falling over and that I constantly am rearranging. Over here, I just added another one of those trees that I really like. They're hard to get them to stay up straight, but they look cute. And then I have my ambered glass soap dispenser. And then over the sink, I just have this little sign that says Merry Christmas, and it sits right in this window really nicely. Over here, I have my stacked Magnolia cookbooks with my cookie cutters that are from the Hearth and Handline at Target this year. And then a bowl of Christmas M&Ms, of course. I love M&Ms, they will always be in my household. And then this is one of my favorite trees. I got it at Hobby Lobby, but they have them at Kirkland's as well. And then this bottle brush tree was from Target. And then in my little bowl that I put on my KitchenAid, I just have this little dish towel from Joann's a couple years ago. And then at the coffee bar, I have all my coffee little spoons, measuring spoons if you need to measure out your sugar. My Oh Christmas Tree mug that's from Joann's. I love it. And then none of this really changed, so I just have my K-cups I keep in here and then my sugar. Here's an overview of my dining room at night. I love the vibe in here. It's so cozy and it's just turned out to be one of my favorite rooms in the house. So I added this table runner that says Merry Christmas from Hobby Lobby. Again, using that same garland I use almost all year. You can make it anything look Christmassy, like greenery wise pretty much and added that just on top of that runner to fill that in a little bit. So these are those hobnail plates I was telling you guys about. I love them. And then all the napkins and plates are from Pier 1. I got those as a gift. And I love that little pop of green in here. So I tied it in with green candles. And these look really nice on top of everything and just added a really cozy element to the dining room. And then in these little jars, I just put some of that fake snow in my bottle brush trees and I love the wood lids to these jars. And then I added this one from last year. I don't have a lid for it, but I still think it looks cute. And then another one with the wooden lid over here. This was Aaron and I's first Christmas tree. It's so small compared to what we usually get. So we put it in here this year and I flocked it with some Santa snow spray. And we put all of our special ornaments that we didn't want to put on our like cohesive themed tree we put them in here so we've got our sweet ones when we got married we've got that ornament and then we have the dogs so cute we've got Hadley's you can't really see her picture but all of our sweet ornaments Aaron's got a bunch of his family ones on here too and I just love the way it looks and it makes it so cozy in here in the windowsill I just put my little houses I'm gonna put some of those little candles in them to light those up at night and then we have our countdown the christmas sign and then over here on this piece i decorated from hobby lobby i just kind of didn't really have a plan for this piece i just kind of went with whatever i had to use i hardly bought any new christmas decor this year because i just wanted to use what i had and i think it turned out so cute so i did diy this little lantern with all the trees inside because they were selling the exact same thing pre-made at Hobby Lobby for $40. So I bought a $14 lantern and got some cheap trees and put some fairy lights in it and it looks super cute. And then I just added some more fake snow, some picks, and then stacked my rolling pins. I love the way decorating with wooden rolling pins looks. And then I have my marshmallow fireside candle with my homemade hot cocoa dish towel on my blanket ladder it's like the tiny little blanket ladder and then of course i love this lamp it was my great grandma's and i will always have that here it's so cute and then i just have one of our little christmas pictures from our wedding and then i filled this little vase with old cookie cutters and then i just put some big marshmallows in my merry christmas mug with some sprinkles in the back and then of course just added a christmas tree to tie all together on the bottom, I just used my same stacked wooden boxes from fall, added some random little items down here, some trees, our Christmas memories book that I've written in every year since we've been married, and then I have my little ornaments with some of those orange slices down here as well. And then the last big area I decorated is this big piece in my living room. It's on this huge wall, so it takes up a lot of nice space. And I use this big strand of garland that's pre-made from 
Target. I got it last year and then I did add in some pieces of our real Christmas tree just to add in some more texture. And then this color was my favorite this year at Hobby Lobby so I had to add some of these trees and then some of these little bottle brush trees from Hobby Lobby on some wood rounds. This big tree is from Hobby Lobby. <laughs> Everything's from Hobby Lobby. And then I have my Aria diffuser going and I'm diffusing Christmas spirit and peppermint and it smells so nice. And then I have some other little trees. I love these galvanized ones that are whitewashed. They just look really cute up here. So I tried to balance it out and make it look as even as possible. And then if there were any gaps, I went in and added just a few of these little picks that have some white little beads on them and it just kind of finished it off. So the big May Christmas sign I DIY'd last year. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. Just what you mean to me Oh, Christmas tree Honestly, it's never been much about you Don't get me wrong, I think you're great Root of tradition, we celebrate But oh, Christmas tree than anything it's all the people around you my sister's here my cousins too my brothers flew in this afternoon